This is Witchspace News for Friday the 27th of November 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...updates on activity from Frontier ...news from Operation Ida ...the East India Company's Christmas bonus and it's a busy week to be a fuel rat. If you enjoy this video remember to hit like and subscribe and if you'd like to help support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Just a quick note to say in case you're unaware there are 4 community goals running this week through until Thursday morning. They're fairly standard trade and combat deals in the bubble for the Feds and the Empire. These CGs each come with various decals as rewards for the top 75% of participants. Jump in to ensure you don't miss out. So we kick off this week with some updates on activity at Frontier Developments as they continue the wind up to the release of Odyssey in the first quarter of next year. This week the company trialled the Twitch Drops system for their Tuesday afternoon UTC Super Cruise News livestream. If you're unfamiliar with Twitch Drops it's essentially a system that rewards in-game items to players for simply watching a livestream. All you need to do is link your Twitch and Frontier accounts and if you watch a drop enabled livestream you'll receive the in-game goods that are being gifted. In this case of the trial this week it was a complete set of purple ship skins, smoke trails and weapon colours. Whilst the drop system won't be active on every single stream just when Frontier enable it it certainly appears to have had the desired effect of bringing the community in to watch a stream. What would normally be a modest 200 to 300 person audience swelled to around 10,500 people. According to the community team on the Thursday livestream the current plan is for there to be a Christmas special livestream on the 17th of December and that stream will be Twitch drop enabled. Frontier have also hinted that the 17th of December livestream will contain something else special. Of course we have no firm idea on what that special something would be. A developer diary might be a solid bet but you'll just have to wait and see. Frontier also announced this week that they're going to be holding their own Ask Me Anything sessions every Wednesday at 1500 UTC on the official forums. During the sessions one or more of the community management team will be on hand every week to field questions from the community. The Ask Me Anything sessions kicked off on Wednesday this week and Stuart GT on Reddit has done a nice summary of what was asked that garnered a response and we've linked to that below. Whilst it was great to see the community team reaching out to the community directly like this as you'd expect the vast majority of the questions the team picked up on they were unable or unwilling to answer directly. But if we kind of read between the lines we did manage to glean that it appears as though different body shape customization will be included in Odyssey. There are no plans with the Odyssey launch to add any functionality to the squadron system. Dredger class megaships might be making an appearance. Fixes for issues in multi crew are being worked on and it looks like we might be able to land on Earth's moon in Odyssey. Possibly maybe. With the Thursday server tick this week Kepler's orbital starport that was on fire last week following actions from neo marlinist terrorists went into a state of under repair. 13 hours later following a sterling team effort by the crew at Operation Ida the station is now ready to come back online having had all its repair requirements met. Well done Operation Ida and whilst we're on the subject of the station repairing mega team please extend your congratulations to Commander Astro Snufkin who finished drawing the Ida logo on the face of the galaxy using a sidewinder with just a 33 light year jump range. The galaxy spanning art was started in April this year and completed last week after over 31,000 jumps. There's a link to a video of the finished project below. To celebrate the coming festive season the East India Company player group are offering free trades on all the rare goods and commodities used in the unlocking of engineers that they provide. The offer will be available from the 1st to the 23rd of December and you'll find a link to their service below if you want to book yourself a trade. 
And finally, following the release of Elite Dangerous for free on the Epic Store last week, the venerable Fuel Rats saw a colossal surge in callouts to stranded commanders in need of fuel, breaking their previous one day high of 250 on just one day this week. The rats attended and were successful in no less than 526 rescues. As of this recording they have sailed past 92,500 total successful rescues. Just an unfathomable number. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.